another day, another time to enjoy solo queue. And today we are lucky enough to not be in slot 5 so no need for us to tank. But unfortunately our slot 5 doesn't look like he's gonna follow the golden rule anytime soon. But that is fine, I don't think I've played any tanks recently in our solo queue videos so I guess this is the best time to do it. And I'd also like a tank hero that can smash 5 enemies at the same time so let's go with small Lita. Now we can upgrade from baiting to jail baiting. Also, who plays Alucard in Mythic? I'm guessing this guy. But that is fine, this lineup is not bad, it's pretty solid until the enemies turn us into liquid or gas. And now that we are in the game, maybe I should prioritize on babysitting 1-1. I will have to think about it, but first let's buy a pair of matching roaming boots for Lolita. Because you can see she's definitely wearing red boots and it just makes sense to buy the roaming boots of the same color. Yes, that's how I pick my roaming boots. And in the top lane where our marksman is, it looks like she's facing off against Mr. Sucker Ball. How about you sucker some balls under your tower because I'll be staying here for a long time. But if my teammates from the mid lane need my help to bonk the heck out of that lane, then I regret my entire decision. I should have not gone here. But they were able to save my life so I guess that's fine. Don't worry Mr. Krabs, I got your back. I'll protect you from Bruno's balls. But I wonder who will protect you from my big hammer. Uh oh, it looks like there's a team fight happening right at Ricky's house. How could you guys? He's just trying to have a peaceful life standing there and realizing that you guys are big jerks. But that is fine. As long as we can catch this Ling, Ricky can get his house insurance. Alright, back to babysitting 1-1 I guess. I don't think she needs any babysitting actually. She's been doing really well against this Bruno. So I guess we'll just leave her be because my other teammates need me here to take care of some turtle soup stealing enemies. It's just that they aren't really good at stealing the turtle and they also aren't good at escaping. Shut up bug face. Where do you think you're going with your ugly green skin? Oh I know, you're going back to base. But the team fight is not over because our teammates decided that they want to overstay in the enemy jungle. We probably won't regret this, right? Okay, I'm beginning to feel that that is a false statement. Especially now that this alien bug boy is here, time to sneakily run away, hopefully he doesn't notice me. Oh, that smells a lot like revenge. Well played, at least he's not gonna get a triple kill because our Alucard is really smart. See, even our jungler thinks he's amazing. Meanwhile, back in the top lane, we got a lot of enemies here. But what we have to do is really simple and that is to protect our marksman. And it looks like we are finally getting some help from our teammates so this will- Hey, that's pretty rude of you Mr. Squidward. Don't you know that Lolita is too young to be covered in your chains? And look at our marksman go. There we go, two enemies are dead. So this tower should be pretty easy to take especially when there's only one guy here that I stunned and our teammates are not able to hit with their skill shots. Thank you teammates. But at least they got me some turtle soup delivery without my help so thank you teammates, well played. Now let's go back to our number one job and that is to get ulted by Atlas. No, that's not it. We're here to stop Bruno's big balls and to secure our kill. Unfortunately, the creepy thin man is quick to take back the kill that we just got. And it looks like he is really motivated to get another one of those, um, what do you call that? Deaths. Alright, too much action going in the top lane and nobody is defending this mid lane from this granny mage. Shut up oldie and stop stealing my ult or else I'm going to use it on you if only you went there. You could have joined that Natalia that I totally hit and stunned and I also uh, killed her. You didn't see it because she's invisible. How long are they gonna keep on defending this tower? I'm feeling like they're putting too much importance to this tower. I mean the turtle is up right? You could uh, get a turtle soup or a brain damage from my hammer and also a shortcut back to the base. Care of my teammates. Alright team, good job in taking that turtle soup. If the enemies don't want it, then someone has gotta get it. Meanwhile, our marksman is completely owning that Bruno but Ling is here to enjoy another bunk in the head. Hey 1-1, one, one, watch this. I told you to watch, not, not to secure our kill. 
But that is fine. So far, so good. It looks like our babysitting is going too well. I mean, I didn't even babysit her for the entire game, but right now, since she's already fed, I kind of don't want her to die. Does Lolita shield black lasers? I kind of forgot. Nope, it doesn't. But does it kill Alucards? Almost. If you guys have no plan on taking down this tower, then I guess it's up to me, right? Just a little more bonk on this tower and that should take care of it. And I'm not even gonna deal with this Bruno for now. I'm just gonna show off my huge shield. I mean, I got nothing better to do. I don't know if our teammates want to take the Lord or if they want to push. I guess I'll just let them decide what they want to do with their lives. In the meantime, we're gonna focus on the goal of pushing the lanes. And if I clear this minion wave, then our minions are gonna eventually destroy the bot lane tower. Finally, there we go. That's what I like. People who are taking objectives or are leaving them for a team fight. Okay. Come on, guys. You know that team fights are after taking the objectives, right? When there's nothing else to fight for. It's not post objective team fight for nothing. Meanwhile, I think I'm getting a taste of my own medicine. I'm not sure why Valentina would waste such a wonderful ult on a tank. But hey, it's her choice and it's also her choice to be going back to the base in style. And I don't think I can help you anymore guys, I'm really injured. But I really hate the face of this squid face, so um, one more bunk should uh, do the trick and I'll be going back to base, it's up to you guys now. So beam me up chicken, let's go. Alright, good job team in clearing up the area of enemies and now this lord is as good as ours. And now all we gotta do, and I'm pretty sure everyone in my teammates know, is we have to make sure that that lord gets a tower. Ooh, look at our marksman again with her super balanced ultimate. Nice try, Valentina. Why do you even take my ult if you can't stun anybody? Here's how you stun somebody. Like I always say, I don't need flicker on Lolita's ultimate if the enemies aren't moving anyway. So it looks like our teammates were successful in taking down the mid lane tower. How about this one? There we go, way to go minions, hopefully the minions don't steal our victory selfie this time if ever we're gonna get one. So what we're gonna do to prevent that from happening is to just stay safe and not die. I mean I don't even care about Wan Wan anymore, she's a big girl already, she doesn't need my help. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna help myself by securing more of our kills. Come on guys, what's the holdup? I am running out of HP here to stay for the victory selfie, but we shouldn't be too greedy. We all know what happens when we're too greedy, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to stay behind our marksman because late game it's uh, the roles are reversed. The marksman now protects the tank. Or maybe I'm just forcing her to protect my victory selfie. Wow, Valentina really loves my ultimate. And hey, that's a really good set from the enemy Atlas. Unfortunately for him, I have a BS blocker shield that will not let anything pass. And now even Alucard is eating up the enemy team. Very good guys. Here's a ultimate for uh, celebration. Two Natalia's dead right there. And with the enemy team only left with a green faced bug boy, I don't think he can do anything especially when he's going to spend a defeat selfie in the afterlife. Okay, I don't think we are in a perfect position in this victory selfie. But I really wanted to take that alien bug boy out of the picture I guess. And that's gonna be another Smolita gameplay with Flameshot of course. Just uh, comment down below how much you hate Flameshot and you want me to play Flicker and I'll be a happy man. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Lolita gameplay again. My name is Shin Mentagazo. Thank you for watching these videos. Hit like if you enjoyed. Check out our other uploads for the many and different heroes we played in the past. And subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Peace.